Bill, this is our irrigation pump. We pump the water from the Hunter River and as you can hear it's uh, it's dragging the water up, putting it up on our pastures and uh, we're putting out about two megalitres a day when we're pumping mm -hmm. and that runs on to about 110 acres of irrigated land. Yeah. I noticed on the way in you've got a very large irrigator that's going right across the land on wheels. How does that work? It's what they call a centre pivot. It's a new innovation, or new to us anyway. We only put it in last year. Um, it's a wonderful thing for ageing legs. It saves all the shifting of the pipes. And, uh, but better than that, it's, uh, it's a great, efficient way to water our land. It doesn't use as much water as we used to for the amount of feed we grow. We're just up from the river right now. Let's walk down closer and have a look. OK, cool. Uh, a lot of old memories here. Been here for a, a lot of times. And uh, Dad and his father... We're here fishing many times, wonderful spot. Looking up behind you, the river curves around. There are some small rapids by the look of things, a log across the creek or something, and then it flattens out. It's very broad here. It is. It's a wonderful hole. Ever since we've been here, we've always had a hole of water here, so we've been pretty lucky. Not everybody in the river has this sort of facility. Yeah. This place is surrounded by mines these days. How many mines do you have around you? We can see five mines from our house. Um, it's, yeah, it's, we are completely surrounded. We're just uh, a little island, a little green island, thankfully. Uh, but uh, th they do control things pretty well. Yeah. But we've hung in and, and we still love the place. Why have you stayed here? Someone's got to look after the land and this is a beautiful place. And um, we've had different offers to sell and we have sold part of our land for different mining ventures. But we just love it here so much and uh, I, I think it's, I, I guess the river's part of my blood. I've been here all my life. Do you feel a responsibility for the land? I think that it's, it's very important. In, in years to come, the Hunter Valley will become a, a, a bigger food source again. At the moment, it's so industrialised, it's hard to imagine it getting back to what it used to be, but mm. I think it will eventually. Uh, so someone has to look after it, and I think we've got a... It's, all, it's up to all of us to try and do our bit to, to keep the valley as uh, fertile and, and uh, green as we can. Wherever you look here, you can see, just over the top of this hill, you can just see the tailings from one of the mines. What's it like living so close to them? We have a constant noise in the background, but it's a noise you can learn to live with. So long as you get along with the people, they have a responsibility to look after the environment and they have a responsibility to look after our, uh, our amenity too, like uh, dust and noise and, and uh, any pollution that's happening. I think us being here just probably makes them a little bit more responsible too. You mentioned the noise from the mines. What's it like when there's no noise from them, when they shut down for a little while? It's almost eerie when uh, we're so used to the background noise that uh, on Christmas Day and, and Easter Sunday, when everything shuts down, if there's no wind blowing, it's just so clear that uh, it's, it's quite different and, and it's, uh, we remember what it used to be like. Let's walk along the riverbank and get further up towards where I think there's a small rapid. old log that's fallen across here creating a bit of a torrent. It is yeah. and uh, yeah you get these throughout the river and there was a time when uh, water resources come along and take them out but uh, they've ceased doing that they, they seem to think that it's, it's a natural part of the process so they leave them alone. And they seem to be putting them into the river what do you think about that? Well I think it's just restoring what it used to be I, I was uh, surprised and probably a bit annoyed when they were taking them all out Mm. because I felt that was the way the river was meant to be, so why should we interfere with it? But um, now that they're leaving them alone, I think it's just returning to what it used to be. Mm. You've got all of these mines around you. Do you reckon they do the right thing? Are they good environmental citizens? They're a lot better now than they were, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got some pelicans on the river. They're, they're beautiful big birds, and they're here nearly every day. And when we come down to start the pump, you can nearly always see them, and uh, I guess they're doing their bit of fishing. <laughs> This is one of the strangest scenes I think I've ever seen. We've got a small rapid in front of us, some calves in the river, and two pelicans, only metres from the calves. Very, very odd. I wonder what the cows think of them. I don't think they take much at all. I think they're all quite content. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very peaceful scene, isn't it?